Hello, I'm Dr. Barbara Kamholtz. I'm a geriatric psychiatrist in the VA. These videos were made for you, the caregiver. We will be looking at dementia and delirium. As a caregiver, you play a particularly vital role in identifying delirium because you know your loved one best, and you can tell when they're just not right. We hope these videos will provide you with some tools to deal with these conditions. If your loved one suffers from dementia, they can become agitated, and if so, this video is for you, the caregiver. You play a critical role in their well-being, so it's important for you to know how to handle difficult situations and when to call for help. Keep two things in mind as you watch this. One, you are not alone in facing the difficulties brought on by dementia with agitation. Many caregivers feel as frightened, helpless, and overwhelmed. And two, it is not your fault. You may feel angry or guilty, that's normal. You're only human. But you didn't cause the problem, and you're doing your best to cope with it. Meet Frank and Doreen. At first glance, you may think everything is fine, but it isn't. Frank suffers from dementia and can become agitated at times. Here's your lunch, Frank. Okay. Go ahead, dear, enjoy your lunch. I gave you a pair, too. As soon as you're finished, it'll be time for your bath. Okay. So far, there's nothing to be worried about, right? You've been through this routine before. But this time, something is different. Frank exhibits signs you need to be aware of. Frank, you haven't touched your lunch. I already ate. No, you didn't. You didn't eat a thing. Now I want you Leave to... Leave me alone. Frank, you have to eat. I've eaten. Frank, your pills. You haven't taken your pills. Go away. Those aren't my pills. What are you trying to do to me? You have got to take your pills now and eat your lunch. What is the matter with I'm you? I'm leaving. What? Get in the car. What? Where's the car? No, you don't. You are going to take these pills. You are going to eat your lunch, and you are going to take your bath. What is the matter with you? You see what happened. Frank suddenly became agitated, and the reasons were unclear. This can be extremely upsetting and frustrating. Most important is to try to understand what caused the behavior. Our loved ones with dementia can't often explain it, but most of the time this behavior is related to medical problems like pain or difficulty breathing, changes in the environment such as meeting a new person, being served dinner in a different place, or hearing arguments at home, being thirsty or hungry, psychological problems like being afraid, being nervous, being sad or depressed, or hearing or seeing things that are not real. Many of these may seem minor to the caregiver, but patients with dementia have little ability to adapt to anything that is new or stressful. It helps to try to think back to what was happening right before your loved one got agitated. Are there any clues? Ways to approach our loved ones who are upset include remaining calm yourself, providing reassurance and explanations about what is going on around the veteran, and communicating clearly with simple sentences. Let's see what happens when Doreen responds with a softer approach using some of these techniques. She reduces the choices so that Frank can follow one idea or instruction at a time. She asks questions that require only a simple answer, and she tries her best to stay positive. I like you in this shirt, Frank. It's a good color on you. You haven't eaten your lunch, dear. I already ate. Well, let's just move this over here in case you get hungry later on. I'm not hungry. I already ate. Honey, what about your pills? Can I help you with those? Those aren't my pills. Leave me alone. Maybe they'd be easier to take with a glass of water. These are for your high blood pressure and for pain. They all make you feel better. I don't want any pills. Whose pills are they? Tell you what, Frank, it's time for me to take my pills too. Why don't we take them together, okay? Your pills too? Yes, and then you can get cleaned up. Our grandson Johnny is coming. Do you want to take a shower or a bath today, Frank? Yes, Johnny. I'll take a bath. I'll run your bath water. 
and I'll let you test it first just to make sure it's the way you want it. You can see how Doreen acted differently. She didn't argue with Frank, she gave him some easy choices, and just asked simple questions. Doreen made her affection for him clear and allowed Frank to be involved in some of the decisions. She didn't confront him about the lunch or the pills or the bath. These approaches can be reassuring to both the person suffering with dementia and the caregiver, making life more pleasant for both.